Hey everybody, James here with Tactical Response. Thanks for watching. Um, 299 days. Uh, go to Kickstarter and check out the 299 days project. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, how to turn this road atlas into something a little bit more usable. What I have done is I have cut a page from it, and I've uh, like did a uh, uh, El Cheapo laminating and. Uh, and uh, military gets like sheet of acetate, this clear gluey substance they can, you know, a cellophane type substance they can put on maps to protect them. Um, you can buy that as a civilian or you can do what I do and use packing tape. So this is what that looks like. I know it's kind of boring, but this is what it, it looks like. Okay, so uh, I've already taken the staples out so I can get to uh, the pieces I need easier. And uh, we'll just start with uh, New Mexico here. Um, I'm going to uh, cut it. It's my trusty pocket knife. <laughs> uh, so uh, what I've done is I put this cardboard on the table because I don't want to. I don't want to cut the cardboard, um, and uh, and so I'll, I'll tape it to this, and you'll see what I'm talking about, and then I'll flip it over. But uh, that, that keeps me from cutting up my table and then uh, I've taped this cardboard down to the table so it doesn't so it doesn't slide around you can do this whatever direction you want but uh, um, typically what I do is I take a couple of pieces if I can get it to cooperate and tie down a couple of corners just to just to hold it still while I, while I begin the process so Slightly overlapping the tape. You can do this with scotch, scotch tape if you have more time. <laughs> but packing tape works really good. Slipped on that one. There's a little gap. Cover that up, and and I got a wrinkle in it. Treat that. Okay. So now that uh, that's finished, I'll just get my pocket knife out and trace the edges. Cut away from your body when you're using a knife. So that is one half of it uh, completed and uh, what I will do is uh, flip it over and finish the process and on the back side I'm going to leave uh, a little uh, little extra like this so I can fold over the edge. It's not 100% necessary but uh, but it does help uh, waterproof the edges. And uh, now I've done the other side so that is a complete water resistant map. You may come to a point like this where the, the map, the, the state, is, you know, the map is so big, it's two pages. And, uh, and then there's all the peripheral stuff, uh, city maps, etc. cetera. Um, you decide, decide what to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this along here. Um, and uh, I'm going to cut the uh, unnecessary stuff off the top. And uh, I'm just going to uh, laminate this as one, uh, one map. Now, where you run into problems is if you need the other side, uh, it's not going to mesh up with anything. So if you want to keep the whole map intact, you should do this as separate pieces. Or you should buy multiple atlases. Um, and so you can, you can you know, cut them up every way that makes sense. Okay, so you're saying, what, what, what am I going to use this for? Um, maybe I should have said that up front. So you would have kept watching the video. Um, this can be used for like hiking maps. Uh, if you're going to go do something and you print out any map, like Google Earth or anything like that, especially if it's on an inkjet printer, as soon as one drop of water hits that, it starts to run. Uh, and these these maps uh, are are great uh, for stuff like that. Uh, laminating them, this self-lamination kind of thing is, is great for stuff like that. And what uh, some soldiers have been known to do is they have their map on one side and on the back side they put uh, nude pictures of women on there and and uh, and it's uh, if they have to, if they ever have to escape evade whatever the case may be 
uh, they have used that for trade goods. They've traded that to indigenous peoples before for uh, for favors and uh, and so I mean plus their <laughs> their own personal use but but the back of it can the back of the map if there's nothing on there do something put survival tips on it or you know whatever it depends on what the application is this application for this exact road map that I'm using this Rand McNally road map is for a motorcycle trip I'm going on a motorcycle trip and I want to have uh, a paper map for every state that I go to. Yes, I'll be using a GPS, blah, 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 but I like to have maps. Uh, if nothing else, it helps me take it into a diner and pl plot out my routes and stuff like that so I know what to put in the GPS. But for whatever reason, if it's going to be a tactical operation or what, anything that you're going to need a map for, um, having it protected like this, if you can fold it up and there's no, there's no worries, uh, just, it just makes it a more usable item. This is James Yeager for Tactical Response, reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.